Hey, what is going on guys? It's the Alice Project here and uh, first of all, I want to thank all 260 of you lot who voted on the previous video. Now, those were 260 unique votes because I have used the settings which don't allow anyone uh, that the, anyone to vote twice from the same IP address. So unless someone had a hybrid IP, uh, a hybrid IP um, router, router, um, that is not possible. So any which way, I'm gonna assume that all 260 of you guys were unique, and uh, the vote was somewhat inconclusive because a uh, hundred or so, 108, I believe, voted for uh, Socialist Republic of Italy. And then also a hundred voted for Serbia in the uh, in the with the expanded tree, and I just remembered that I didn't uh, start up that sub mod. Now I'm going to be trying. I'm gonna try my best and record both series, just because I'm in such a good mood and uh, I really want to make it up for you guys. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see both. So I'm going to try and micro both countries, not in a single let's play, obviously I'm going to do two different let's plays. So the first one is going to be the Socialist Republic of Italy, and I'll be right back, I just need to restart the game and load up the submod for Serbia in this let's play. And we are back, so I've loaded up uh, the submod for the Balkans, but we're going to start with Socialist Republic of Italy. Let us go! Now, obviously we're going to be using the... Um, the uh, national syndicalist route or the uh, totalist route and then I hope that Mosley and Jacobins take command because that would be the ultimate uh, ultimate party in uh, in this let's play so birthday cake it's pretty much the same as always uh, I'm just gonna skip that because it's a lot of reading useless reading that is unless you're playing it for the first time in which uh, I recommend you do so access or assess the economy, so let's do that. We have three research slots, which isn't too bad. We're going to upgrade our artillery, our, um, and our doctrine, I believe. Yeah, we're going to go with spirit firepower. So for the time being, our army is minute, one could say, very small. Um, so we're going to change that. We have five military factories, three on that, one on that, and one on RT. There we go. Now, let's see what our industry is like. It's crap, just like I predicted. But let's build it up to speed. We have one naval dockyard, which I'm going to use to build destroyers. I usually build convoys, but now this time I'm going to build destroyers. So Malta isn't a free state anymore. And uh, let's proceed. Alright, the Socialist Republic of Italy. Um... At the end of Weltkrieg, Italy was in disarray. It collapsed into chaos with the victorious central powers dividing up the once proud nation. While the northern half of Italy would become occupied by the Austrian Empire, the southern half would become the reformed kingdom of two Sicilies, with an Austrian puppet upon the throne. This decision was uh, vastly unpopular amongst the southern Italian peasantry, leading to a series of peasant revolts and uprisings. Soon, anarcho-syndicalist thinkers fleeing from the Austrian occupation in the north, arrived in Naples and began to build support for a revolution. In February... Oh, Kerensky's dead. In February 1921, Palmiro Togliatti and Amedo Bardiga led a revolution. The Austrians were unable to hold the syndicalist tide, and after two months of civil war, the syndicalist triumphed and the Socialist Republic of Italy was declared. Unfortunately, the Republic's trouble had merely just begun. Power struggles and purges ensued, and southern Italy was still in the shambles, uh, from both the Civil War and the Weltkrieg. Now, 15 years since the Republic's founding, the nation is only just barely starting to rebuild and industrialize, hampered by the Italian Federation to the north and the insidious organized crime families that have uh, that has grown over the past few years within their own borders. The nation is beset by challenges and dangers on all sides. Mosley wants to talk to Mussolini. Off you go. Oswald Mosley and Union of Britain has invited the chairman of the National Syndicalists, Benito Mussolini, to Birmingham to discuss the common ground between their ideologies. Mussolini has thanked him for the invite and set off in the name of internationalism. Glorious. Now, we can only hope that Mussolini takes charge, or not Mussolini, the, um, that uh, Mosley takes charge with the Maximists. 
So who leads uh, what here? Manito, Palmiro, Filippo Tratti, Sandro Pertini, De Nicola. Um, lots of these uh, unfamiliar names to me, apart from obviously Benito Mussolini. And I've recognized Bordiga in the previous text. Nothing else, to be honest. Nothing else. Oh, Edward the Seventh or the Eighth, pardon me, crowned as King of Britain. So Serbia has the uh, the advanced tree. It's going to be interesting to see where they go. Maybe they'll go totalist as well. You never know. Don't know why speed five is this uh, this frame choppy. Usually it isn't. I am recording with new software, however, so that may be the case. Black Monday just hit. Surely this is running faster, I believe. Uh, electoral gridlock in France. Choi. So we don't know who's going to win here. Let's hope for uh, the war economy and agriculture. Poland declares a republic. Okay. Interesting indeed. Are they going a new Poland way? No, I, that's a mediocre way. Oh fuck, what did I press? Okay, this is this is why I dislike stuff like this. I don't know what I pressed. Alright, let's slow it down. Oh, I hate this. I just pressed something I don't need. I've lost some political power from what I can see. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it was just a regular, um, our ideology has grown or something, so I, I shouldn't be too, uh, too fussed about that. Has anything changed here? Um, still we don't have theorists, uh, this is something a work in progress, obviously. Still a work in progress over here. Still a work in progress over here. Alright, very well. Who can we put as a leader? Ah, okay. Nice leaders. Nice leaders. Uh, I am going to use Gaston Gambara just because of the uh, winter tree. I think we're going to attack during winter. Ideology has grown. We don't need this. Oh, there we go. So Romania has remilitarized, obviously. And uh, one of the crime families... Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna give me double the constru construction speed. Hmm. I don't know why I would go with this. I mean, it, yeah, it's 20% construction speed, but this is gonna give me pretty much the same effect with minus 5. Uh, while it might be unthinkable to some, we must entreat with the organized crime families, secretly, if need be, and call a truce in order to give them some breathing room to grow. So, okay, once we do that, yeah, we can get rid of organized crime. So it's pretty much the same, it's just temporary. We are going to uh, deal with organized crime for the time. I think that would be the most beneficial. So yeah, Benito, when, when can we start the Congress? We need April the 1st. Okay, so after this, we can do the Congress. Still nothing when it comes to France. Okay, the British are going to do the Trade Union Congress. So, fingers crossed, we're waiting for Mosley. Though the chances are pretty slim. Patan is going to keep on leading the French Republic. Wondering if Spain is going to go to war with, the, with itself. Oh! Oh, Egypt finally got a tree. I didn't know this. Nice. Oh, nice, 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 nice. The Coptic issue. The third international. Let's better start packing. It's not that big. Yeah, it's not that big. However, 
I think this is very much a work in progress. Has Persia gotten itself? No, Persia is still stuck with the same. Hashemite of Arabia, same. Yeah, I know the Ottomans have a tree, so... Bulgaria also has a tree. And I, I'm not sure if Greece does. I don't think so, no. Oh! Oh! Well, I'll be damned. We have we have our first ally. Oh, we've got Bloody Mosley. Alright, uh, the Foreign Minister of the Socialist Republic of Italy appeared before the First Syndicalist Congress, making the case of supporting the Republic in its efforts to reunify the Italian peninsula. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. Hopefully the French accept. Oh boy, we have Mosley. Right. So far, so good. We're going to have two major leaders in the um, Third International, or the, yeah, the Third International. Wait, did I see something? Oh, no, never mind. What's going on with Russia? They're going with Oktyabrisk. Oktyabristi. Alright, fair enough. Too bad they didn't go uh, uh, with the uh, dictatorship of the proletariat. Wondering what Serbia is going to go with. Hopefully they go with one of the more interesting ways or paths. Who else has the possibility of going commie? Well, I guess these guys. Obviously, Spain. Yeah, someone said that the um, American or the CSA uh, has the combined syndicates of America have a totalist leader now, which I haven't noticed, but uh, we'll see when the actual civil war pops up. So we're going to declare a truce with the crime families for the time being. There we go. And now we're going to go with the Fourth Congress. Okay, interwar artillery. Um, let's see what I'm going to grab. I should probably grab uh, go for radios right here, and uh, some industry advancements should be beneficial. And we're going to begin the fourth congress. Let's see. So, fourth congress of the Greater Italian Union. Today, the fourth congress of the Greater Italian Union begins. The various factions of the congress will debate economic, internal, and military policies. The anarcho-syndicalists seek to push orthodox syndicalism, advancing the current policies of the Congress, while the social reformists desire a government that helps the people with an expansion of social re uh, social programs. Meanwhile, Benito Mussolini's new faction, the National Syndicalists, advance the new ideology of totalism, advocating for absolute state power and aggressive military expansion. Their very future of Republic hang hangs in the balance. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna continue with... Uh, uh, with I want to get rid of so we need all of the following so for the time being um, I want this slow down speed four. Oh, day one economic policy the first order of business is the economic policy of the Republic. The social reformists advocate for modern, moderate industrialization, whilst also expanding Italy's agriculture. The anarcho-syndicalists argue for industrialization, and Mussolini's national syndicalists demand nothing short of total and immediate industrialization. Nothing short of total industrialization will suffice. <laughs> and that there goes like a hundred of my uh, political power. Revolution in Siam. 